Alright then, hello everyone and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. Uh, whoops. One second. There we go. Uh, so, basically, uh, in this segment we'll be taking on Ultros, probably the easiest boss fight thus far. As you notice, Straga, Straga is unequipped here, so uh, we'll be making use of that in this fight. Hopefully not getting any random encounters beforehand, but I wouldn't mind if they killed Strago off. So, let's get started. Down one, all the way to the left. Well, made it there without any random encounters anyway. All the way down to the bottom. Alright, by going right and down here, it looks like I'm gonna go into that little slot there, but it's just kinda cheaping out on me here because I just get stuck on the side for some reason. Doesn't really matter. So yeah, no time to hear these people talk on about the statues uh, for quite a while. You know, uh, the strike goes blabbing on for so long here, it's starting to get annoying. That's part of the reason why I guess we should just kill him off in this fight. It's okay, we can just... When, when his granddaughter figures out that he's dead, we can just tell her that he died of old age. That's the, that's the beauty of killing old people. We, it's easy to blame it on something else. Yeah, just blah blah blah. Just, there we go. And giant octopus. Here he comes. So yeah, I have lock equipped with the sprint shoes instead of the thief glove or the power glove because the sprint shoes. Because he uses slow in this fight, and I figure that the. Uh, faster region and the fact that he he's super slow if he doesn't okay and and the fact that he's super slow if he do, if he's on slow and not haste oh fireball yep good that was probably strago probably died all right well, uh, the good news is I'm attacking myself intentionally this time. Uh, this this fight is pretty much all based on his counter attacks for the most part, because his regular attacks are actually kind of lame and can be easily outpaced by my region most of the time. It's his counter attacks that start to get dangerous. But the thing is, I can count I can shut down his entire counter attack system if Strago is dead and I only hit him with electric type moves. And that's what I've gathered anyway from previous playthroughs. And this strat should continue to serve me well. There's chance Locke could die like if things go horribly horribly wrong and Strago's just I mean Strago Ultros is just completely biased towards attacking Locke and somehow cuts through his evasion every single time. Locke could probably die in this fight. But I don't see it happening often. And there's simply no way Terra's gonna die, not with her uh, defending in the back row-ness. Because Terra doesn't know any electric spells, I can't really uh, do anything with her without provoking counterattacks I don't want to see. I, c I could theoretically have them both moving if I had Terra equipped with a Thunderblade and Locke equipped with the. Uh, and Locke using his Bolt spell, but I suspect that would be weaker than just having Locke attack. And it would have my character who's reasoning less being in more danger. This this worked pretty well in my test run anyway. It's a little slow, but 
Hey, whatever. Oh good, he used Blizzard. Now I don't have to defend as many times with Terra. This is where I feel the fight would probably become oozingly slow if I didn't have the sprint shoes unlock. It only... S it c gives about 300 damage though to have the Thief Glove equipped, so... It's hard to tell for sure whether this is the best way to kill him fastest, but... It's certainly the best way to survive anyway. Because the region ticks are faster, so it, it drops the chances of him killing Locke anyway. They're already pretty low to begin with. And the th it's not like the Thief Glove boosts the procs anyway, so... I think if he crits Locke, he can do about 300 damage, and that's probably the max he can do. Fireball is uh, pathetic and useless because he. Uh, both my characters have the life bell on, so they're not gonna be. They're gonna shrug off its seizure effects very easily. For some reason I'm getting nervous about ignoring all these attacks, even though I know that theoretically there's little chance of it mattering, but it it just feels uncomfortable ignoring tons of special attacks like El Nino for so long. It would kinda suck if uh Realm somehow died, but after Realm comes, he'll only single target Tentacle Terra, and Terra's still sitting in the back row defending, so <laughs> she's not exactly in danger. So after Realm comes, all I have to do is uh, wait for her to sketch it, which shouldn't be as much of a pain as in the BFLLG. Oh, speaking of the devil, uh, yeah, sorry to tell you, but y yeah, he's dead. I think it was a heart attack. This giant octopus just fell from the ceiling, and I don't think he could. I don't think he could take it. It was just too much. I'm truly, truly sorry. So, uh, could you uh, paint a picture of this octopus? either be lock or realm. That was lock. Figures, he has the sprint shoes and well, realm's not exactly a slow poke anyway, but uh, okay. That's not single target tentacle on Terra. But that's single target tentacle on Ultros, so I'm not exactly caring at this point. So I deem getting a battle after Ultros to be worse than getting a battle beforehand because I don't have an Aqua Rake from Strago to throw out there. And I actually want all the characters who I have to survive, so. Actually, it probably won't make a difference considering Strago's already out cold, so I gotta revive him probably. So yeah, back through this really easy to navigate place. Oh, battle. Uh. Alright, Terra. Alright, this is... If it's Realm, I'll <laughs> probably be healing the enemy. Can 
Can I tell the difference between Locke and Realm? Realm doesn't have an Esper equipped. Yeah, so she doesn't have a magic menu. This is Realm. Oh, she can sketch something good here. Whoa, what is that? One, two, three. That brings me down to... Oh, magnitude. Nice. One, two, three. And then one more to fire tube, I think. And burn them. Is that Starlight they're using anyway? Uh oh. Okay, it's probably a double crawler and an adamantoid battle because I suspect the adamantoid is, well, probably immune to thunder anyway, but. Oh, Cyclonic. If he can get hit by that. Well, luck got sneezed away anyway, so it doesn't really matter what happens now. I don't... I don't even know if Realm can... I think Terra's probably dead. I don't even know if Realm can damage this thing. She's got a brush that heals. She's got Sketch, which probably does Megavolt and Cyclonic, neither of which are, will kill it, probably. And she's got her items, in which I'm not going to use. So, yeah, I'm pretty much just waiting for... I'm not 100% sure what's going on anymore. Hopefully it just dies. Well, goodbye whoever that was. Okay, it must have got Ventera who got sneezed away. Yeah, I don't like Locke and really hurt it. Well, he might have some crummy spell that I can use if I can find it. I know he's got fire, but I think it's immune to that too. I don't know, let's just search for a random spell in here. Hope that kills it. It has been hit by Cyclonic and that actually works. Okay, never mind that... That, that worked. Oh yeah, Fire 2 obviously works on it because Terra's Fire 2. Well, someone defeated it. That's good enough for me. There we go. Let's see. Eh, no one died. I swear, are my curses off or something? I don't know. Alright. I'm surprised even Realm didn't die. Well. That's it for now anyway. See you later.